Hi guys and ladies, there's only about an hour of daylight left. It's really, really chilly out here, 39 degrees. But I wanted to catch a couple more fish to go with some crappie and bluegill that I already have in the freezer. You see, I found a fish recipe online that I'm really anxious to try. So let's see if I can catch a fish or two in this cold. I'm going to fish deep today, almost as if I were ice fishing, and once again, I'm going to use this 1 16th ounce jig hook with a live mealworm attached. And I've got this slip bobber set so that our bait goes down well about four feet. So let's see what we can catch. A big bass! Too big. The scientists say I have to release anything over 12 inches because there's too many small bass in the lake. And this is, well, let me see. This is 12 and a half, so he's going back. A beauty! <laughs> the first bluegill. Oh, I love this one. Perfect for my recipe. Nice. <laughs> wow. Very nice. Ah, 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 my finger. <laughs> I got two. Yes. Oh, very little. But the scientists say I have to remove them. They're just too many of these very little ones. So we're going to take them out. Yes. <laughs> Not what I really was after, but come on, this is good food. Perfect. Perfect for eating. And we need to clear the lake of these little ones, so that's about it. Well, I've got four fish. That's plenty to be added to the fish I have in the freezer. And now I can make my recipe. So I quickly caught four fish, despite the chilly weather, drizzle, and cold fingers. I have three quarters of a pound of great fish fillets here. Miss Lulu Cheeks, the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, isn't with me tonight. I guess she's doing a TV special in New York City. And since I'm all alone, this is going to be plenty. I won't even have to defrost the fish in the freezer. So let's start with this recipe. It features lime mustard and chili. So I'm starting off with a tablespoon of olive oil. Now here I'm adding two tablespoons of fresh lime juice. I think this is fresh. I mean I bought it a month ago. Now I'm putting in a half cup of Chardonnay wine. I'm going to go with two tablespoons 
of this partially dried cilantro. It's like half fresh and half dried. Hmm, new product. Eh, what the heck, put a little more. Now I'm putting in a quarter teaspoon of salt. Make sure yours is Himalayan refined smoked Italian organic kosher flake sea salt. Otherwise the recipe won't work. Now I've got a tablespoon of melted butter. So here we go again with a cool new product. Parsley that's lightly dried, semi-dried. Let's mix this up thoroughly. I guess we can add our fish fillets now. I'm going to set our marinating fish fillets aside for 10 or 15 minutes. So I'm just going to melt some butter and then add some olive oil. I don't know how much. I'm just guessing. The directions don't say. That's too much oil because the fish are already oily. So I'm going to dump more than half of this. I'm supposed to fry the fillets and baste them. Let's see what happens. I've got the heat on medium, medium high. Now, see what happens. It smells so good. One more piece. I'm figuring two minutes on each side. They're small. Let's baste. Little basting fluid here. I'm gonna flip them over. Wow, does this smell great! Basting side two. That's been about a total of four minutes. I'm getting them off. Oh my gosh. The fragrance is something like Middle Eastern, like Moroccan or something. Oh, oh. Wow. Wow. The sauce is thickening. Hmm. Wow. The combination of mustard, lemon, and chili is phenomenal. It reminds me of Middle East flavors for some reason. Now, why do I always hit it out of the park when Miss Cheeks isn't here? This would win her heart. Well, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Ah, 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 my finger.